What's going on, guys? Oh my god, Zilla back here with another really exciting Godzilla figure review, guys. Today, from SH Monster Arts, we have Monster X from Godzilla Final Wars. Guys, without further ado, let's jump right in. <laughs> Alrighty guys, first thing I want to do is take a look at this box. This is one of the cooler boxes we've had from SS Monster Arts in a while, I think. It's got the uh, Monster X obviously posed, really cool. Some cool smoke effects in the background. Just a really cool dark ominous picture of him. We got the, the, the red light lettering really stands out. And then we actually up in this top corner have the Godzilla Final Wars logo, which is awesome. Um, so a really nice box. You just got Monster X on the side. A couple of cool poses. You got oh, like, kind of a running pose when he picks up Godzilla uh, from the film. And then just a couple battle type poses and then a standing pose. Side of the box here features another cool pose of him. This is what we first saw when we unboxed it, Monster X. Just a really cool first thing to see. There's the bottom of the box, another picture in all your Japanese. Goodness, um, guys, for any of you who care really quick, let me grab it. This really quickly is the uh, the box, the Japanese box. The, um, that the SH Monster X box came in. Um, so I, I just like to hold on to those. They're kind of a fun piece to keep as well. But guys, onto the main event, the headliner for today. Monster X from SH Monster Arts. Guys, this figure is definitely a good one. It delivers on most of the notes. We'll start with some detail. Definitely loving the facial detail. The the, the second head spikes look really great. I wish we got um, individually sculpted teeth. The teeth definitely could look a little cleaner, but they look pretty darn good. Anyways, the, the face, the black, the kind of whatever you color this is, the off-white gray kind of coloring looks really nice. So they did a good job with the colors, especially because Monster X is, on the whole, a pretty basic figure. Or, you know, a base, pretty basic kaiju, just in terms of his color scheme. He doesn't have a whole lot of color to him. So they definitely did a good job on this figure overall, I think. Again, I really like that the, that the second heads look so darn good. Great detail on the, these spikes going up the arms. I really like all these ones on the wrist. They look great. So nice detailing in there. This back spike looks pretty decent. Tail stuff looks good. I think this 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 kind of this whitish gray color really pops up off this black. And they even went ahead and texturized some of this for us. So we have obviously you can see some of these lines here. But then even this is texturized. And then this kind of is kind of lined or ribbed or whatever. Um, only place where they stopped texturizing is on the tail. So they kind of gave up partway through, which is a little disappointing. Another disappointing thing about the tail is the articulation. SX Monster Arts always does such a good job of making the tail super articulate, but you can tell in this, we have huge, chunky segments. So the tail's definitely poseable, but it doesn't get that super nice, you know, bendy flow that a lot of the SH Monsters tails can get. Um, so speaking of articulation, we might as well go ahead and move on to that. Obviously on the head, we do have jaw articulation. The head, this is actually the whole head piece, and it actually moves as an independent unit, which kind of surprised me. I guess it shouldn't have surprised me, because obviously it's just the back of his head, but... It's cool that this whole piece moves. So you got some decent movement on that side to side as well. These shoulders, these second shoulder things have a good range of motion too. In terms of side to side, up and down, good there as well. The arms, you have a little bit of shoulder. They kind of get, they, they can't go all the way out because they get stuck on this shoulder unit, which is fine. Um, but then, but you do have, you have good back and forth on the arms. Um, elbows, fine range of motion there, just as much as you need. And then you have you have spin and bend on the wrists. That applies for both arms, obviously. So there's your articulation there. Waist-wise, he has a little articulation right on this jaw, this joint here. I'm trying to figure out the best way to move it just that. So we can do some crunches. He doesn't miss ab day. Um, and then obviously he can get some side to side on that as well. Because leg-wise, plenty of rotation on the legs. The legs work great. You got it. You got hip. Um, you don't get too much of the you know, this coming out, you get some, but not a ton, but in terms of up and down, you get plenty. Knee obviously has kind of two joints there for plenty of articulation. You can go all the way back to here and then obviously fully extend. And then down to the foot, guys, uh, we have some point and flex action as well as some spinning. So definitely an articulate figure. Let's take a look at the tail. So you have articulation right where it meets. It's on a ball joint, so you get, you get plenty of side to side, up and down twisting this way and then obviously we have segment here 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 and these kind of so the tail's plenty posable but it doesn't get that really nice bendiness that i love on some of those sh monster arts but that said the tail is plenty posable moving down to these little 
this where it splits. You get it's cool because you can actually move. They can move this way. They can kind of move in and out, as well as spin. So they those actually get a nice little treatment. That is the only part of articulation. They're super bendy though. Um, so there's nothing. This is all just one piece. These last segments are just all one piece. Guys, he can stand without the use of his tail, but you definitely got to kind of work with him for a minute. So I find it easiest. Just go ahead and lean him back on that tail. It works fine, and the tail still looks decent enough. So um, definitely looks good on the tail. Guys, here's one of the most confusing things about this figure is he came with an extra set of hands. But what? I hardly know why. So take a look at this left hand here. And let me grab the left hand he comes with. Like, it's almost exactly the same thing. I seriously think they changed the hands 2% and then just threw in an extra set of hands so they can say they gave us, an, you know, this. I think the thumb kind of, uh, on the hands that are on there right now, the thumb's more here and then the thumb's more here on the extra set. But guys, I'm not even going to bother when we lost a piece. That guy popped right off. Looks like it should be pretty easy to snap right back on. But guys, like I said, I'm not even going to bother attaching these new hands. It just looks like they included the hands so they could have some sort of effect. I definitely am wishing they gave us anything else, some something, I don't know what, you know, a breath effect, anything would have been nice, even if, it'd have been cool if they even included Godzilla's Final Wars breath effect when he blasts him into outer space, that'd be cool, because then we could pair it with our Final Wars Godzilla, which of course also came with no breath effect. Guys, so speaking of the Final Wars Godzilla, scaling on this is actually fairly decent, um, I think the Monster X is supposed to be about 15 to 20 meters taller than Godzilla, so he could even be a little bigger, but not too bad of scaling with our SH Monster Arts Godzilla. Uh, one thing I will say is he looks really scrawny. I know SH Monster Arts isn't super, the or Monster X isn't like super built up and thick, but he just he definitely like gives off weird little scrawny vibes for some reason. Now, tell me if I'm alone in thinking that, but I just feel like his, he's so like his chest and his waist are so thin. I feel like they could have given him a little more meat. Um, guys, a couple more figures I wanted to just compare them to real quick. Final Wars. Gigan. Gigan obviously being right there with him. Um, so this scaling is fine. Fine for me. Um, like I said, I, I wouldn't complain if Monster X was a little bit bigger. Because Gigan, with his horn, actually has a tiny bit of height on Monster X. So I definitely wouldn't complain if uh, Mon this Monster X figure we got was a little bit bigger. Guys, does he scale with your Bandai's? It's fine. This is the uh, the Bandai creation Final Wars Godzilla. Um, so he scales fine. Like I said, could be could go for a little bit bigger just because all the six inch stuff. He could be bumped up just a tad. And guys, just for kind of comparing him to uh, his other counterpart, let's see if this guy even fits in the shot here. This is the uh, the Bandai eight inch Monster X figure. Obviously, the SH Monster is much more detailed and articulate. But I just wanted to show the two side by side so you guys could see them. Um, definitely love the Bandai a lot too. This one's a great figure. I wish I had the tag for it, but that's alright. So I just wanted to show the two side by side really quick just so y'all could see it next to each other. So guys, this has been Monster X from SH Monster Arts from Godzilla Final Wars. Does anyone have this figure at this point? Let me know if your thoughts on it if you do. And if you don't, are you getting it? Are you excited for it? Or are you passing? If so, why? Guys, I'd definitely like to know your thoughts on this figure. Thank you so much for watching this review. Definitely hit that subscribe button so you can uh, stay around for all the other upcoming stuff. we got a lot of awesome stuff coming out and a lot of stuff on the channel that we just recently have posted that if you haven't seen, I definitely would appreciate if you do. Most recently of which is the uh, the new Haya Toys Godzilla. He's sitting back there up on the shelf. Just reviewed that guy. It's a sweet figure. I can't wait for more from Super, um, or from Haya, excuse me. Um, so guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Monster X from Godzilla Final Wars SH Monster Arts. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.